And so our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Of course, the prince. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. Fight against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activity. Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. 
No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. The staff may be reassured by the lack of... Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, sir. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My prince. The prince. My lord. Oh, my salutations. Hello, prince. How are you, my prince? My lord. My lord. Oh, brave knight, have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen. They say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. Staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. He's all well, my lord. Chin up. You're not going to leave me stranded in this wilderness, are you? Come on, they're waiting for you in the kitchen. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. Oh, go on, don't be silly. Take my hand again. Good, now let's go. Nasty business down the industrial. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now. And straighten those clothes. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready.
You have all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. Prince. My lord. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. To us. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. But it would be the greatest honor. An awful, awful monster. I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. Fight! That's it! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father? The great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. It's time you showed me what you've got. I'm not made of straw. Strike harder! Don't think of me as Walter. Think of me as an enemy. Strike! Show me your true strength! Strike me now! Ha-ha! <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. 